The rhino's head is now in the storeroom. The museum director still can't believe that the thief just ripped off the horn. A white mark is all that remains on the wall. Well, just two weeks ago, there was the head of a rhino there. When the attendant wanted to close the museum, she noticed someone hanging on the head with their arms around the horn. He tore off the horn and ran for the exit, spraying everyone in his way with tear gas. The thief left via these stairs where he was challenged. Outside, his accomplice was waiting in the getaway car. An intern tried to stop him up there, and two students down below got hit by tear gas. Luckily, however, the police managed to catch two suspects. The museum regained the horn and promptly stowed it away in a safe place. A horn like that is worth 25 or 30,000 euros a kilo. This horn would be worth 200,000. But Liège is no one-off. The horn poachers have hit a number of sites across Europe in the last couple of months. Among them was the Bamberg Natural History Museum. Its main attraction, the famous Bird Hall, enjoys high security. This nice horn. The horn is located here on this upper shelf. It's completely obvious where these things end up. It's in Eastern Asia where there's a big demand. It's the source of all these robberies. People pay a lot of money on the market here for Chinese alternative medicine. And that's where the job orders come from. The belief that powdered rhino horn has sexual stimulant properties is particularly widespread in Eastern Asia, where there is a booming black market for the illegal product. It's bad publicity for traditional Chinese medicine, which stresses the healing powers of certain natural products and is internationally respected. It's becoming increasingly popular in Europe. The problem in all this is a pseudo-medicinal use of rhino horn. That stems from the perverted belief that rhino horn is a big mighty thing that points upwards. And that of course leads to such perversions which have nothing to do whatsoever with medicinal usage. Many still believe rhino horn is a miracle cure for all kinds of ailments. It's gaining in popularity and is receiving widespread publicity. The British broadsheet The Times recently published an interview with a leading Hollywood actor who swears by it. It's a real shame that celebrities are making statements like that. It undermines our attempts to educate people about the ineffectiveness of rhino horn. It's a real myth. At the Federal Agency for Nature Conservation, rhino horn confiscated by customs are kept under lock and key. Those recovered from the robberies are also here for safekeeping. Last year, Germany introduced more stringent laws on the import and export of rhino horn. Worryingly, we can see that poaching in South Africa and other African countries has increased considerably. In turn, that has made conservation efforts for rhinos a lot more difficult. The trade in rhino horn is booming and prices are higher than ever. That makes rhinos one of the world's most valuable and rarest animals. Some species are already facing extinction.